Welcome everyone to Sheep in the Midst of Wolves. Pain to Power. I would like to thank everyone for tuning in again with me, Miss Vanessa Bell Jackson, and here are my trials and tribulations from my latest memoir, Sheep in the Midst of Wolves, Diary of a Single Mother. Today, we're going to touch base real quickly on, well not too quickly I hope, on my sickness and when I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. You will never know it this day. I was in my early 20s when I first became sick with this disease. And I am positive that my lifestyle that I lived caused me to experience the illnesses that I've been going through. Because when we have stress in our life, we create pain and heartache for ourselves but most importantly we create illnesses by having stressful situations in our life and I lived a stress-free lifestyle I'm sorry I did not live a stress-free lifestyle I lived a stressful lifestyle in my early 20s I was doing this and doing that and had wrong people in my life and the wrong people in my corner and let me tell you something right now the wrong people in your corner needs to go because negativity will not give you a happy life or, for me, negativity gave me a sick life out of nowhere. Purchased my first house. I was happy. I was fine. Had people living off of me. Not having my best intentions at heart. And eventually, I became ill because the situation wasn't happy and it wasn't, it wasn't well. And once again, just from being in environments and situations that is no good for your well-being or your sense of pride or your sense of just a woman it has negative effects and has downfalls and for me my downfall unfortunately was diagnosis of multiple sclerosis I lost vision in one eye stress caused me to not see I lost vision in my other eye once again stress caused me to not see I was numb from my neck down to my toes, couldn't feel a thing. Again, stressful situations caused me to have the symptoms that I was experiencing. But eventually, I came to realize that I was causing my symptoms by living a lifestyle that wasn't good for me. I was enduring pain and heartache. I was enduring mental abuse, physical abuse, abusive relationships, being cheated on, being disrespected, not having love from family, not having love for friends the way I thought it would be. And because I thought life would be a certain way and I thought people would be a certain way, it held a heavy toll on my heart and on my mind and on my soul and it manifested in a form of multiple sclerosis. So this clip today is to tell you or inform you or make you aware of the fact that our lifestyle and our situations and the things uh, that we accept in life can cause harm to us uh, and can have can have negative effects on our lifestyle and I'm a walking example of this fact because the moment I turned my life around the moment I started living life for the better the moment I put self before another, the moment I put self-care before other people, because self-care is a necessity, that is the day that I started rewriting my life and re rewriting my health. And that was the day I took my power back, but also that was the day I took my health back. How I became aware of how strong the mind is, after being sick, losing vision, sick, losing vision, sick, not from head to toe. The doctors don't know what's wrong with me. They put me on a rebirth trial study and they said at the end of the study, hey, Vanessa Jackson, you might get the pill or the injection is what I got back then, or you might get a saline solution inside of the injection. And I said, well, what's a saline solution? And they said, well, it's a placebo. And I'm like, well, what's a placebo? Like, come on, I'm 23 years old. I have no idea what these things are. Hub Hospital tells me that the placebo is basically a saline solution. It's nothing. There's no medication inside of that. It's a mind game. The body, the mind and the body thinks that it's getting a drug. Therefore, the body heals itself because the mind feels and believes that it is healing. This was the day I realized the power 
of attraction. This was the day I realized that our mind controls our body. Just from being sick with MS, having a diagnosis with MS, being put on a trial study with multiple sclerosis changed me for the better. If I haven't had that diagnosis, I'm not sure if I would have realized that reality at that time of my life. So I was saddened from having the sickness, but I was also grateful because my sickness cured me of all of my imperfections, of my lack ofs, meaning letting people take advantage of me, letting people walk over me, letting people abuse me, letting people misuse me. The placebo effect taught me Control your life. Control your mind. Believe that you are healthy. Believe that you're getting a pill and your body will succeed and will heal itself without the actual drug. The doctors, they are aware of the power of attraction. That's why they give you the darn placebo. They try to tell you, you need the drugs, take this drug, take this drug. But if it was true, if they didn't believe in the placebo effect, they wouldn't give you the placebo. They'll give everyone a drug. So the doctors know just as well how powerful the power of the mind is. And once I realized that, I took my power back and I never returned. I did start the trial study and I successfully overcame that trial study. But I was never aware and sure if I had the actual drug or if I had the placebo. And when I asked my doctor, of course, they can't tell you because it can manipulate the trial study. So to this day, I never knew what I had. So I can only assume that I had the placebo. So I decided to go off the drug and see if I would still be healthy without the drug. And guess what? To my surprise, living a healthy lifestyle without the drugs, going out to the gym, working out, eating healthy, being healthy, living healthy, accepting no bull crap from no one, cured my multiple sclerosis to this day ever since I decided to see if I had the placebo or see if I had the extra drug I have not been on the drug ever since and I thank God that I had the power and the strength and the knowledge to understand what the placebo was because that was almost 20 years ago and 20 years later I am still off of it but my doctors told me that I had to take it you're only healthy because you're on it what you just told me that you might not even have given me the drug but the doctors tell you, no, 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 Vanessa, take the drug, take the injection three times a week. But you just told me that I might not have even had the drug. Then you tell me to take the drug. So we as people need to put our knowledge and our understanding towards our life and decide, can we have the, do we, not can we, but, but we need to decide, do we have the power to heal ourselves? Because we do. With the power of God and living healthy, eating healthy, being healthy, you can control any illness that comes your way. Now, not saying that you will be living life forever and not have no illnesses, but if you become sick at 79 opposed to 45, go for it. If living healthy, eating healthy, being healthy gains 20 years of your life without being on any medication and without being sick, we as a people need to find that cure for ourselves and become healthy. And this means eating healthy, dating healthy, being healthy, thinking healthy, eliminating anything that is not healthy for my life. I am a walking example. 20 years later, I was 22, 23 when I was diagnosed with MS. I haven't taken anything since I was 24, almost 25. I am now 41, going on 42, and I have not had a flare-up I have not lost vision I have not experienced numbness from my neck down to my feet since I was in my early 20s now can you imagine if I would have listened to my doctor 18 19 years of giving myself injections would have caused me to have negative skin but I had God on my side and I listened to my own desires so my my goal for you today is to tell you to live healthy be healthy think healthy eat healthy work out go to the gym I go to the gym three to four times a week. I eat very healthy. And um, it's not about having a body so that men can like me. It's about having a body so that I can like me. It's about having a body so that I can be healthy. It's about having a body so that I can feel comfortable within my skin. It's about having a body so that I don't have to be dependent upon the drugs, injections, or pills several times a week to keep my body healthy. 
God did not put you on this earth to be mistreated. God did not put you on this earth to be abused. God did not put you on this earth to shear a man. These things cause stresses and I'm here to tell you don't let anything cause you stress because um, these are the things that have caused me stress back in the day and caused my sickness. So my goal for this excerpt from Sheep and Mr. Wolf. Who's the sheep and who's the wolf? Live your life according to you. But again, who's the sheep and who's the wolf? It all depends on perception. And I'm going to close with this. What is truth? And I ask you again, what is truth? But the illusion of a perception that we was told. Or hence, you find your truth. You find what makes you happy. You go with what flows with your intrinsic value and your intrinsic beliefs. And you follow that. And anything that causes you negativity, pain, heartache, or any type of discomfort, I'm begging you and I'm urging you to please release those peoples or those situations or those jobs from their duties that is causing you pain. Namaste. This is Dasma, and this is my testimony to you. And I hope that you guys can find some help, some truth in what I have to say. Or I hope that my truth can help you find your truth because it is true. We all have our own truth and we all have an interpersonal relationship with God. I repeat, we all have an interpersonal relationship with God, meaning that we are one on one with God. What works for me may not work for you. What works for him may not work for her. So you find your truth with your God. Follow God, not man. Namaste. Amen. In closing, let's find some peace. This is for you. This is for the divine. This is for happiness. Namaste. Until next time, this is Dasma. Peace, love, blessing, and oneness with the universe. Amen. Namaste.